We got lives involved. Not just one, two. Yeah, Christian's gone and they, he's never going to come back again. Yeah, Terod's still living, but his life is also taken too. You know, yeah, he got his little, going to have his little freedom here and there, but he still ain't going to be able to. I just wish he would have made a better choice than what he did or, or walked away from the situation or can't change what he wouldn't have done. So, I mean, if he wouldn't have been bothering to rock, to rock wouldn't have never did what he did to him. He wouldn't have never did. I mean, but I know it don't take, I know he's not supposed to take stuff in his own hands like he did, but I just honestly feel that he was depending on himself, that he was, he was, he was scared, he was tired. He was tired of, he was tired. And continuously going on him, Christian bothering him and bothering him and bothering him. Continuously, continuously. I mean, you can't keep bothering people like that and you don't know what, what they're going through. His grandmother was in the hospital. I mean, wasn't no good news there. It's just so a lot of things that was going on with him. He don't know where a person man was at. You can't do that. I mean, Christian was wrong for what he did. Yeah, and Terod was wrong for what he did. I mean, they both were wrong. But, you know, but Christian got the bad end of the stick. I mean, not, and Terod's getting the bad end of it also. He didn't. I don't think that he meant to kill him. He just wanted to scare him, leave him alone. I don't think that he meant to kill him. Yeah, it's gonna be years gone, years missing. Once again, so well, I'm just happy to have all my kids back, in one family. People may not understand what I'm going through, what I'm feeling, because I keep a lot in. One day, y'all see my son out of this. That'll be my testimony.